Hi, my name is Pierre, and this is yet another WordPress secrets video. Whenever you want to add something to WordPress and there is no plugin for it, you can always add a little bit of HTML and then you can do the trick. So here we will add an open street map simply by adding some HTML to a WordPress page or post. Let's start. Here you see my uh, page or post. In this case, it's actually a post, uh, but it really doesn't matter whether it's the one or the other, as long as you are in the editor. Here you can add the different options either by clicking on this plus or that plus. So let's just click here and add a block. Uh, in this case, we want some HTML. Now, in my case, because I use it often, you can see that custom HTML is here. If you can't find it, actually, you can just write HTML here, and then you'll see it. Here it is. Now we have a custom HTML field. So the next step is to change to OpenStreetMaps, and here we want to find some place uh, on the planet. I'll go to my hometown and that is Aarhus um, and um, we'll take the old town which is a nice museum downtown Aarhus and you can see here that there is a marker already but um, you can remove it if you don't want it or you can add it if you want to. Now um, you can edit the map in several ways. One of them is here. You can add a layer. For instance, you can have a standard map. You can have a bicycle map. We can see where you can use the bicycle. Here it is, that's a bicycle map. Here's a map for transportation where you see uh, the numbers of the buses going there. Uh, here you see even uh, the public transportation. And this one is called humanitarian. I don't know why. Um, but this is uh, where you choose what it should look like. In this case, I think I'll simply take uh, public transportation. So here you, we get that one. And now we have the map. And if you click on share and add a marker, now we have a marker in the center of the old town. So by now we have the map that we want to use. Here you can see that you can link to the map, so we could add a button and click and see it, but then it wouldn't be integrated in the web page. So instead, I think it's better to simply copy the HTML that you see here. It's actually an iframe, and if we copy this code by copy C or command C, I mean, we can add it to our WordPress theme. Now, um, I prefer in the theme that I have here to um, paste the iframe between two p tags because then the p tags will kind of frame the iframe uh, and then it will behave like any other paragraph. So it's a little hack, you could say. Um, and now we add the uh, iframe. And here you can go in and see the different values. For instance, it has a height of 350. Uh, pixels, you can always change that. You can also add a frame border if you want to have it. You could add a frame border of two. And there are many other uh, settings you can have. Uh, by the width, you could say 100%, and then it would simply um, fit in whatever size we want to have. By now, we can click on Publish, and now we can view the post. Here you see it, and now we have a page or post with a map on it, and uh, the user will actually be able to zoom in and zoom out, and they can even click this little one here, and then they'll get a large map. So uh, that's a really nice functionality that we have here that you can always use in your WordPress production. So that's it. Now you know how to add a map 
to, uh, to your WordPress um, and how to integrate the map with your web production. Thank you for watching. If you like my secret WordPress tips, you can always click like on the video. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, you're more than welcome. In that case, you can simply click on subscribe. And if you want to have a recommendation every time I publish something new, you should uh, go up and click the bell symbol, and then you'll get a notification every time I post a new tutorial. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.